You guys, I I just don't think I can express to all of you how much I love our wobble dogs. Anytime I need just a jolt of joy to the soul, all I need to do is step into our wobble dog adventures. And you know, I'm gonna admit it, over a year ago when we first started really delving into wobble dogs, I didn't touch it for months, even though I was told by some of our amazing patrons that I would really enjoy it because it just seemed too weird. And yet here I am, rolling around on a beautiful floor covered in plants with two and three headed puppies that have dragonfly wings, multiple tails, and pixel eyes, and having a delightful time. They will forever be a lesson in giving weird things a try. And speaking of giving weird things a try, we do need to get to work today. <laughs> Because the adventure continues, friends! We're gonna try to see if our wonderful iceberg, who is about to become an adult, is going to be able to have a puppy that we can finally have unlock the dessert dispenser. I think that we're getting really, really, really close to being able to hatch a very wide dog since we do indeed have iceberg growing so big. But before we go ahead and have, oh my gosh, can you squish the mushrooms? Angel Lake, you have smushed the mushroom and that is the cutest thing. Are you having a hard time? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Angel Lake, you are having a hard time. Here, let's give you some pets. <gasps> Angel Lake is laying an egg. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, friends. Okay, so Angel Lake's laying an egg. Let's go ahead and give all of the pets. I feel like we need more sustenance than just pancakes. I feel like, Angel Lake, you're an adult now, so you're not gonna change color. <gasps> Angel Lake just laid an egg! I wish that was a behavior that you could actually like go ahead and, and endorse and like praise. Would you like to eat a pancake? To, to like celebrate? A Celery, did you see that? I don't know what you're doing, Celery, but you're being cute. <gasps> Nana Wing! No! Okay, Nana Wing is getting old. Oh guys, I just can never slow down for all of this. And Toad, Toad, you're so cute. You're so tiny. You're so, I mean, look at how adorable this is. Hang in, hang in here for just a second, friends, because come on, look at this. Look at this. This is so cute. This is so cute. We've just got this tiny puppy trying to steal the biggest pancake. Toad, can you go ahead and eat that for me? Yes, thank you. Then we're gonna go ahead and we are actually going to praise for eating, and then we're going to puppy Toad. And then before we hatch Iceberg and see if this is the moment that we have been waiting for, let's also grab Izzy Loaf. Izzy Loaf, there's some pizza over here. Does, oh no, Izzy Loaf! <laughs> this poor dog, this poor dog was trying so hard to be a good puppy. He's like, oh, you want me to go ahead? Oh no, one of his heads is stuck upside down. This looks like one of those, um, one of those, those masks for like theater where you've got one, one face that's smiling and one face that's actually frowning. Uh, that's what this looks like. We have conflicted feelings. Poor Izzy Loaf was just trying to be a good pup. And then what happens? We end up like yeeting Izzy Loaf by accident by sheer virtue of they are tiny and small and they weren't able to resist the, the lure of the, the vacuum. Oh my goodness. All right, and then we have Kiwi Bean. Kiwi Bean hanging out in here. Uh, <gasps> Celery, no! Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, Celery, Celery the fifth, and Nana Wing. <sighs> this is too much drama for like two seconds in. Oh my word. Okay, we did it. This is it. This is it. There are no more celery, the fifths after this, and I don't know if we have a proper celery line. This is it. I know we have a long dog that we bred last time, but I just, I just don't know if that was enough and I'm nervous about this. Okay, okay, we're, this is the last celery we ever get and I just don't know how I feel about that. This is hard, guys. But maybe we can get a winged caterpillar dog from our celery line, which is what we always wanted. Let's go ahead and have these two with both wings, different types of wings. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh wow. This is this is like the glory of Nana Wing and Celery come together. 
We probably won't go too far on this one because I don't want to lose it. But let's just see what we've got. We've got some flat tails. We've got really big wings. That's a good thing. We have one that has bat wings, but I feel like if we were going for like a caterpillar dog, which is what we were aiming for, for like the, the celery lineage in the first place, then the dragonfly wings are pretty good. All right, I think we'll probably pick one of these. Oh, my heart is feeling super humbled about the fact that we're not gonna have any more, any more little tiny three-headed celery running around. I loved him so. All right, we don't want to get one that's too wide. So I think this might be the winner right here. Can you walk? <laughs> that is that is always the question with these puppies though. It's like, can you walk? Oh, this one's got some good spirit. Some, some jumping and bumping and having a good time. I think we need to feed these guys some french fries. I think we need to put a ton of french fries into our caterpillar zone and we'll let that happen. Um, do I like this one? Can you walk, buddy? You just seem a little confused. All right, I'm gonna risk it one more time for these two. And then we'll pick the longest dog. I don't normally just like choose one trait, but we, clo we cloned like close enough on the breeding. All right, this one's got good cheer. This one's got pretty good cheer, cute little nose. Oh, but this one's dancing. He's got nice colors too. Okay, we're gonna select this one. And this is now going to be Celery the Sixth. I am gonna miss Celery the Fifth. And we're gonna need to feed Celery the Sixth a lot of french fries because I think we're losing some of that like long boy, wanna grow up and be a dachshund one day vibes. Oh, Celery. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna leave you. Oh, his tiny little head's making the tiny little house. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, 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 okay. Hide the UI, just spin just a second with him. All right, I'm ready. Mm. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> and Kiwi Bean is here just in time. Didn't even waste any time, you're literally eating one of his heads, Kiwi Bean. <laughs> Oh well, I guess we knew we needed those like really important genetics, but still. Oh, let's come up. I'm gonna double check. Oh, we did have a long boy. Okay, let's get both of these guys going, I think. I feel like this one, because it's green, is gonna be celery the sixth though. Um, and then I'm gonna try to get the puppies down here really quickly to go ahead and start feasting upon what remains of celery the fifth, because this is totally a normal thing that you have when your dogs die is you feed like their <laughs> you feed their bodies to their children. This isn't creepy at all, friends. <laughs> oh my word. All right. Also, I feel like I should remove this den, but it's kind of cute to have two dens. Hello, little one. You're gonna have a big lineage to live up to, friend. You are gonna now be Celery the Sixth. So let's get you downstairs. I know this is sudden, you just hatched. And then we're actually gonna go ahead and hatch this sibling of celery. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna name this one. Maybe Mango? I, I named a, uh, a mere leopard Mango today in our adventures uh, in our planet zoo conservation where we have like Przewalski wild horses and Amur leopards and whose soul just rolled in here? Brazzini! How on earth did you make your soul roll all over to this zone? Here, we'll go ahead and pretend that some of these graves are just like little skipping stones. Oh, I'm always so worried I'm going to actually hit, um, like crack open when it comes to their dog cores instead of actually, not that we, you don't need that. Not that we, no out. Apple Joy, you don't need that either. Out. Leave it to the babies. They need all these extra genes, okay? And then for you, little long bean friend. Oh, I think I'm gonna name this one um Ba Mungo. After like M Mango Mango. There we go. Kind of like banana. No, no. How about Ma? Uh, let's see. Banana -na 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 go. There we go. I love it. I never thought to like use the banana -na 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 lineage in such a unique way, but I think that this will do. 
All right, there we go. And now we have Mananananango, or like Mananananago, uh, going ahead and hanging out where hopefully they will have plenty of food. Whew. Okay, so now that we've done all that, let's hatch Iceberg. Will you be as wide as we hope, my dear? Will you unlock? <gasps> I saw it. I saw it. You guys, body width went up. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna freak out. We've done it! We have done it! We have done it! Oh my gosh! Finally! We have hatched a very wide dog! <gasps> That's so cute! That is so cute! The dessert food dispenser! A whole new world of gut bacteria awaits us. I have never declared that statement with as much excitement in my life, I assure you. It's it's a pretty unique statement. Iceberg, I love you. This is fantastic. This is utterly and absolutely fantastic. Also, let's go ahead and praise both the pups because they're just like dancing, dancing. We happy. We bouncing. Maybe they're learning from Nana Wing. Maybe they get that from Nana Wing because they're both from Nana Wing. Oh my word. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll hatch everybody else. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what we're gonna have available. Kiwi Bean, you're turning more green because of the, the alien fruits we gave you. Yes, yes. I wanna see our adorable green kiwis. There we go, let's clean these little piles up. And then, hi, Mama Mango. We're just gonna ignore the like heads of, you know, your parent. Lying on the ground there. Oh, Toad, why don't we get you in there? You could go ahead and eat some of that, too. Hi, cutie patootie. Tiny little Toad with all of those unique tails. We haven't had another dog with that kind of tail style yet. Still a juvenile, so we'll toss him in. Oh, and Izzy Loaf. And we'll toss Izzy Loaf over to see if we're able to go ahead and get them closer to all of that nice, useful gut bacteria as well. Oh, they fight. <gasps> Nana Wing! Nana Wing! Thank you for leaving behind so many wonderful winged children, Nana Wing. You were one of our very first winged dogs, and now we have so many. Oh! Oh, the tragedy and the drama, friends! Oh my gosh. All right, well, you know, everybody's chowing down. Can I actually store dog parts? I don't think you can store dog parts because they disappear. Somebody gave me golden blanket flowers. Oh, I'm so proud of them. Let's store that in here and then let's go ahead and remove it and then give it, give, 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 give. Oh, whoops. Okay, I yeeted myself out of the room. I want to collect that. Thank you very much. Oh, that makes it so useful to clean things up, you guys. Oh my word. All right. And also Angel like did lay an egg today. So I kind of want to save digging through all of the delicious desserts for tomorrow, or I should say for the next Wobble Dogs moment, because Angel like, I don't know how much longer they have. And I would really like to see their child since they did lay an egg today. Uh, they're eating something super colorful. So maybe we'll go ahead and have Angel like have pups with somebody who's super colorful. All right. Man, we're really starting to get some variety going on in here. So it looks like Apple Joy is old enough and also has two heads, but I feel like Angel Lake and Iceberg, come on, Ice Lake, we've got a water theme going on over here. Let's try it out. Let's just try it out. Why not? There's probably a lot of valid reasons why not actually, but we're just gonna ignore all of those. <laughs> Oh, they're so cute. I love being able to breed up some new puppies. They basically look identical. Oh, this one has cute little ear beans that face like different directions. They basically look just like their parents though. So that one has a big old nose. This one has a small nose. What happens if we put it together? <gasps> oh, they're so cute. Oh my word. Okay, they're actually really cute. I love this one. I love this one. Okay, wow. And then there's some that have just little ears that go to the sides. This one has an unusual tail. Oh, okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna try crossbreeding this one and this one. And <laughs> it's like stacking little blocks. Ooh, I like the pattern on this guy. Little 80s pattern that we don't see on many of them. 
Oh, this is fun, you guys. We're starting to get some pretty unique looking dogs. And looks like we're starting to lose the ears that I liked though. So let's try to be a little careful about that. But I don't know, I, my, my instincts are telling me possibly terribly, okay. I don't know if this dog's ever gonna be able to get off of its back. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud. Wow, that was really amazing. Good job, little one. All right, so my instincts are kind of like guiding me in interesting directions right now, but I feel like we should push to go deep on like how far down the simulation could take us with this pairing. Because I feel like Angel Lake, oh my gosh, they're so cute. I feel like Angel Lake has hidden depths to their genes that we would be very happy to dive into and explore. Okay, okay. Trying to get a little bit of variety going on over here. Let's try these guys, maybe. Or do I like the little, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with a little bit of color. Oh, I love doing mad science with all of you. Oh, we're getting some really, look at that one. It has the unique tails again. The smooth tails. Oh man, I kind of feel like that's the dog. Let me take some deep breaths. It looks a lot like Iceberg though. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep pushing a little bit more. My instincts, they just say there could be something really weird if you keep going in this direction with big circle eyes. Oh, that's so precious. Yeah, my instincts are just saying like, push it. See what happens. Hi, cutie patooties. We lost the, the flat tail, but I am keeping an eye out on things. All right, all right. We've got little squares, but I like the colors we're getting on these guys. Oh, and little pointed ears. I love the little pointed ear beans. Do those count as horns? I don't know if those count like as horns. All right, let's go with this one and maybe this one. The eyes are getting huge. Like, is that something that can be somewhat different from the dog? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm happy. That feels like a good blend of Angel Lake and Iceberg. I, that will do. That will do. All right, guys, there we go. We have several new pups that have now been added into the family tree. Uh, we'll go ahead and start cleaning up. I think next time, if I have the room for it, we do have the room for it. We have plenty of room for it. We're gonna go ahead and we are actually going to make a little bakery so that we can go ahead and try to welcome in even more puppers into the family. Ooh, do we need a three-headed? Oh, that's the one with the cross ears. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, and this one's really cute too. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think next time if we hatch new dogs, I'm gonna start like rolling a random generator to decide who we should hatch. Cause I think that could be quite fun. And we're gonna need to pick a new challenge cause Iceberg has done it. The glory of our wonderfully like tailed peacock dog who I really feel like I wanna go ahead. Oh my gosh, party, 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 party dog, party dog. But I feel like I really want to go ahead and like celebrate Iceberg's life because come on, they just gave us such a unique thing. But I do want to actually get a peacock line of dogs going with that big feather tail. So I want to remember to work on that as well. <laughs> So all right guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you guys could do please leave a like for Iceberg and whoever just threw that alien fruit like through the tube that just smacked him in the head. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, <laughs> do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.